How's the... The lighting is lighting. The lighting is lighting. Tulsa Light Podcast. One more time. We, we're ready to cry. We're ready to cry. You're it's ready? been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since we talked about our stuff. Sen- our sentimientos. Our sentimientos. And I feel like it's been a long time since we've sat down and done this. So I have, I have a lot to say. Oh, and I'm glad we have the help of this wonderful... What do you got game. going on? It's called Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Wordful. 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 I love these games. The card game. It says no room for small talk. So, hey, we have people out here that are just very judgmental, but I'm glad <laughs> we're going to talk about this. So the, We got a lot to talk about. So the rules are, you got to, you, simple, you got to talk with the help of this, this cube. It's going to land on a certain color. We have all the cards here, whatever color it lands, choose a card, read it out. Every color is a different category. And they have so. different like subcategories in those same colors. Oh, so cool. There's a variety, but all we got to do, be honest. Talk be honest, heart. be transparent, be organic cool. and authentic. Because that's all we know how to do here. That's all we know. Period. So, ladies first. All right. Just kidding. No, I was kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that princess treatment is crazy. Not here. Not here. Crazy. Okay, I'm going to do a little something. <laughs> Yellow. 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 Oh. <laughs> Can, okay, so okay, I, pick, pick up the whole card. You got to choose one. Choose one. All right. Yellow is intimacy. Oh. Okay. Name three attractive qualities in another person. Okay. Attractive qualities in another person is confidence. Confidence is hands down one of the best qualities in another person. It screams. It screams. Qualities, um, I would say having like a sense of humor is also really important. Top, top three. And the last one, a third quality would be to be, I love somebody who's like a little vulnerable, who's not too good for anything, who can always just kind of like give in a little bit and accept anything that's happening. Um, whether it's good, it's bad. It's just you own up to anything Anything that happens. You think that's a one of the things that you kind of have to have that connection with the other person, like the emotional side to them, like with someone to comprehend you, understand where you're coming from, and maybe even kind of feel what you're feeling at a certain certain point of time. Yeah, and even if the even if that person isn't in from like a similar background, or if it's not, if they don't really understand what I'm doing, as long as you understand that like nobody's perfect. And people go through things. I think that's very important when it comes to like vulnerability because I don't expect you to understand what I went through. I just need you to listen and I just need you to understand that like there's room for not everything is perfect. There's a little room for like mess ups and stuff and just know that I'm human at the end of the day. We're all human. You know what I mean? And don't judge me. And don't judge me. I I mean, (laughs) I think that's something we had uh, we have talked about before is this. I if I'm able to confide in you and tell you what I go through, what I've been through, you know, what I've experienced, I hope you don't judge me and or don't use it against me later on in time. Right. And if you really care about that person, it's like, okay, how are you going to help me move forward and advance and do that? Because I'm telling you, like, people think they always need to have the answers for everything. Yeah. And they don't. Yeah. sometimes Sometimes I just want to talk to you and tell you about it. I don't need your sympathy. I don't need a response. I just need to get this shit off my chest. Yeah. Do you, do you like, are you transparent like that with everybody right off the bat? Um, I think you, I, you have to. So I keep it a book, keep it 100%. It's, hey, this is how I am. This is what's going on. I hope you understand. I don't expect you to, but just so you know, and a heads up, this is exactly what's happening, how I am, what I'm feeling. And just... Aguantame. Con aviso no hay engaño. Yeah, just, just hold on. Just hold on for me a little bit. But, you know, it's going to get <laughs> be better. It's going to be better. Me. Just be patient. <laughs> you know, it, it's I'm a work in progress. I, aren't we all? All right. All right. Dale. See. Damn. Off of one question. Let's do this. Go. Ooh. Pink. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. What's the topic? Let me see. I mean, I'm not gonna. There's different. What's the What's the main topic? So it's there has different. There's different categories. So there's vulnerability. There is understand. There is X. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So period. there's different. Okay. There's different uh, subcategories. So I'm gonna look. Which was a good one. You. 
Ooh, that's the you. Bam. What is something most people do not know about you? Oh. Talk about it. I think something that uh, most people don't know about me is. <sighs> Damn, how do you go about this? Just, just say it. That I'm very. I have a hard time of being proud of, of myself, even though I've done a lot of work, even though I've done a lot of progress. I have a tough time feeling proud of all the things I have been able to accomplish and do just simply because I feel like I can do more. So the lack of, I guess you could say the lack, lack of self-love of, I guess kind of in the same category, like happiness and proud of myself. I you feel like it's never enough? Yeah. I think that there's so much, there's so much to do that even if, all the triumphs and all the trophies we have been able to accomplish and the things I've been able to accomplish, it's still simply not enough. So I think that's something I do struggle with a lot. I may smile. I may be the life of the party or be the person to check in on everybody and make everybody happy, make sure everybody's good. But one thing I do struggle with a lot is being able to feel proud of myself. So then how do you take it if somebody else congratulates you or tells you you're doing a great job? How do you process that? How does it make you feel? It it feels nice, but I think at the same time, it's I could do better. You're I, just like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, now I appreciate you, you know, but I kind of uh, divert it where, oh, man, congratulations. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. Man, I'm proud of you. I just I just throw it right back. Mm, because I, reverse I rather, Uno. Yeah, I, rather, <laughs> I put the reverse card. I'd rather them feel happy. I'd rather them feel that um, satisfaction and kind of like that. Oh, man, never heard of that before. Because I know, like, I could get through it, and I've been able to kind of battle through this whole thing for a couple years already. But it's a uh, it self feeling proud of oneself is definitely, I think, a never ending uh, journey. Mm -hmm. But we learn how to, like, you know, show myself a little piece of grace, congratulate myself. All right, bro, you did it. This is one stepping stone. Obviously, uh, we see one of the cans here. You know, we have a, a great stepping stone already, but. To me, it's like, man, more. It's only the beginning. Yeah. It's only the beginning. That's not a terrible mindset to have, but, you know, you got to pat yourself on the back sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, one day at a time. One can day at a time. You can never rush it. Don't rush your process. Don't rush your journey. One day at a time. One week at a time. One moment at a time. One breath at a time. Don't rush. It's going to be okay. We're all just trying to get through it. We're just all, We're all trying, just to, trying to make it. We're all just trying to survive <laughs> and make it. Do you want to switch? This is diet. Yeah, do you want I'm the regular? Not, no. I'm not. <laughs> Take a sip. Tastes just like the regular. All right. All right. So you want to go first? I'll go. First. You go first. You go first. Pink. Pink. Quality. Oh, what? What pink? Yeah, right. Is that this pink? One. Yeah. Yeah. Got a color. Yeah, We're colorblind. Color. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? I haven't yet. No, like one. Like, what did you get? Yeah, there's different, like. Stuff. Oh, whoa! Yeah. Nice. Quality. What is your favorite way to spend quality time with someone? Honestly, it depends on the person that I'm spending time with. Um, quality time is obviously different for, for pretty much everybody. Uh, what I think works for, I don't know, you guys here could be completely different than what works for my parents or my mom or my nieces and nephews. So it just depends. Well, how about this? What's better question is what's a good quality time for you? Honestly, like, like if you had to just choose. being present, like that type of time where you can just actually have a conversation and spend time with a person and obviously those long conversations that honestly can go on for hours you know so like coffee shop and then sit at the park or at the at the beach would be cool it could be anywhere it just depends on the person that i'm with i'm bad i'm bad yeah soft side of pepe soft side <laughs> damn <laughs> he likes to talk he likes to talk 
Green. Family. Family. That's crazy. <laughs> it's different. Oh, okay, okay. That's why it's like pick it up and then just. Pick That's it. insane. <laughs> He's not yeah, choosing. I'm not lie. Gratitude. Wow. What relationship are you most grateful for? You can see that it's not us. <laughs> <laughs> let's clarify. Let's put that out there. He's got some real guys out there, some real friends. I feel like there's like three off the top of my head. But even though I, I was avoiding, avoiding the family one, uh, I got to bring in my brother, my little brother. Um, I feel like he's grown up just to be like a little reflection of me. And I am very grateful that he trusts me and guiding him and what he wants to do in life now. Like, he's gotten to the point, he's a senior in high school, he's gotten to the point where he's, like, trying to think of what he sh wants to do, who to be, and stuff, and he's almost, like, emulating what I'm doing, right? So, it's, like, he, we don't really talk about emotions or talk at all to our parents, but with us, with the minimal communication that we have, we usually talk um, about, like, life goals and just, like, doing what we, we want to do, right? Yeah. And um, I'm just grateful that... He, that I have that relationship with him because I, when growing up, I didn't have that. I didn't have um, a way to express myself or to communicate or just, you know, just have someone be there as close I am with him. So I'm, I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful for him being there for me because as much as he may need me, I need him as well. So why do you think he's emulating you? Um, Following your path? I don't know. I mean, I guess I would like to say I'm doing something good in my life. I don't know. Um, I'm, I hope he sees that and he just doesn't see, he just doesn't want to like just follow. Right. But, um, I, I, I would say, I hope I'm doing something good enough for him to like, be like, Hey, I want to do what you're doing yeah. or follow in your footsteps or just trying to be almost like you, you know? And that's kind of like the goal. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yes, sir. Right, here we go. Please land on black. All on black. <laughs> oh, Blue. You gotta All do what right. I did. You gotta shuffle it and just pick. Alright. Cut it in half and get it. Let's <laughs> get it. Put, put it back, right back on top. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Choose one down the middle. Acceptance. Acceptance. Ooh. Name one thing you would not change about yourself. <sighs> I. It's a good and bad thing, but the obsession to want to be better, do better, and chase my dream. I think without having that personal drive to be somebody in life or to at least make, make use of the time you have in this world, it's one of those things where I take very great pride that no matter what the situation is, no matter how hard tomorrow is or how hard today is, I'm always going to do my best to be better, do better, show up for the people that I love and that have shown up for me. So one thing I would never change about myself is that drive and that obsession to be a better version of me, no matter how long it takes or no matter how much it takes. I think it's like a, you do so much and you grow, you go through pain so much that, you know, once you get to like a certain point where you get to sit back, you're kind of like, damn, I've came a long way. I think when, when, you, when you're like us where you're always on the move, always on the drive, always, always going, you feel like you're moving slow, mm -hmm. but realistically you're making so much progress that it amazes other people that are sitting back and watching you from the outside in, and they're just like, dude, I seen you this all the way up to here, and it's just like, man, I felt like I've been going slow. But if you put it in perspective, like there's so many things that happen in this world where it's going to make you want to quit, stop, you know, put it to another time, another, a better, a better timing. And realistically, I always feel like there's no better time than, than what is now. Yeah. And then you can't cheat on the timing. Like if, like how you said, like, oh, if I've had a better timing or if this timing would have been better, like it doesn't work that way. Like there's a reason for the timing. Like there's a reason mm -hmm. if, if it was a good timing or a bad timing, it, it either wasn't meant to be or something's better coming along the way. Yeah. And, and to perfect that timing once again, it's either impossible or very hard mm -hmm. to obtain it once again. That's why it's either you do it now or you never do it. 
either you take the chance now and you fail at it and you learn from it or you get to sit back and talk about how you had an opportunity you wish you could have done something and you know i I can never take advice from those people that you know one man i had an opportunity to do it it's like no like but why didn't you it's like you will literally sit back and just see someone else live your dream or someone else do what you wanted to do and I feel like that's just, like, the biggest regret, at least for me. Yeah, like, imagine you're in your deathbed, and they tell you, what's one thing you wish you would have done in your life? It's like, if, you, if you had nothing, that, that's a great life. But if you had, like, a list of it, it's like, man. Yeah, and, like, oh, man, I wish I would have taken that opportunity to done this. And it's like, man, I get it. People have challenges and things that happen in, in life. But I think right now, at this point in time, we have so much opportunity, so much life, so much drive. The worst thing you can do is fail, and you learn from it. And then you're going to move on. Yeah. yeah definitely. Are you rolling the dice on all red, all black? Always on black. Oh, okay. <laughs> w. W. W's in the chat, baby. W's, W's in the chat. Is, is this right? Yeah, yeah. That looks like it. That looks like it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Shuffle, shuffle. Offer. Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Offer your best piece out of, of advice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I got to think about this. I feel like the people that I give advice to, it's honestly the people who, I mean, people, friends that are just kind of that same mentality stuck as in like, oh, bro, like I want to, I want to do this. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I, I don't want to keep working here. I, uh, those could have, the would have like, Oh, like, like I, I just want to do what I want to do. It's like, all right. Think about it this way. Your little brother, how you said it, he's following in your footsteps. He is learning more about life and being his own person. If he came up to you and told you big bro, I need advice. I don't know what to do in life. I don't know how to maneuver. I don't know how to get over this situation. What is the best piece of advice you can give him that you learned that you wish you knew at his age? Damn. Um, I would tell him to do, as cliche as it sounds, do what he likes to do right now. It may not be the most uh, paying job or paying career, but I know he really likes uh, videography. Yeah. I know he likes um, going out in nature and taking pictures. I would be like, hey, like, just do that. And because I know you enjoy it and you got to fulfill yourself and make sure you're going to make it and put in the work. Because I know at least when I was growing up, I was tra- the traditional go to college and I want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a uh, the, be, the the most one was I want to be I want you to be an engineer. Yeah. It's like dude, I don't want to be an engineer. Like, what the what hell? The hell? Come on. Yeah, yeah. But um, what I what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to go into art, like what I'm doing now, videography. Yeah. Like, I wanted to do that. I love that, and I feel like he's he's in that same position as I am, and I and I want him to. I want to tell him like, hey, like do what you do. Do what you love doing. Like, don't listen to nobody else. And if nobody's got your back, just know I got your back. There's always that one person who's going to support you no matter what, you know? So I feel like as cliche as it sounds that you see on TikTok, like, just forget what you hear from other people. Do what you need to do. Do what you love and take that leap of faith. I took a leap of faith with my business. And luckily, well, successfully, I am successful now. And I'm, I'm glad that I took that leap of faith. Like, or else I just would have been stuck to my nine to five. We would have been on the. Imagine I would have done this sooner. Yeah, like I imagine. I, I yeah. <laughs> Yellow, damn. Get it, peppers. I won't. Joy. Ooh, I'm so excited. In this past year, when have you felt most joyful? Ooh. 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 <laughs> We're almost to the end of the year, brother. Honestly, that's insane because mm-hmm. when have I 
felt most joyful? We know you're joyful all the time, so just pick like one. That's what I was you say, know, right? or a like, face even, really a face even. Times. When was a time you were really joyful? I don't remember the last time you I haven't was been joyful, joyful this, this entire year. year. No. Really? Why? Why so? Then what's been? What's going on? That you haven't just felt? Life's been, just life's been life and a little it's too been, hard. It's been dragging you. Yeah. So you've n- you haven't felt like joy. Like obviously, there's like little glimmers, but not joyful. Joyful. Really? It's been yeah, that rough? it's been that rough this year. Has I, I get you. I get you. sucked. Honestly, I'm already, I'm already <laughs> in this year, if I'm being honest. Dang. Damn. What about you? Dang. What about you? What, um, what well, you feel the, this year has been a roller coaster, to say the least. <laughs> but you know what? It's crazy to say. Um, I think for me, the, the most joyful I've felt has been the last few months. Just doing my own thing and doing what I get to do and, you know, working with you guys, working with the shop, doing things on like on my on my time. Yeah, of course. Just just doing my own thing. And as far as like working and stuff, I've never felt so like free and just really have been able to practice my creative side way more in the way that I want and thankfully it's been working out well. I feel like that was um a blessing in disguise. Of course. What happened in the beginning of the year. So yeah. I mean, it really shook. It happened to the both of us. It happened right? to the it both of us. Both yeah, of yeah, us. yeah. But like, it was a blessing in disguise. And honestly, I didn't know that I had a so much like humbly like potential in me. Like, had I not, had that not happened, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't be doing all the stuff I'm doing today and all the opportunities. So hey, there's a couple things coming up. So I know. Hey. I'm so excited. See, I think that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. And it's. I think it's more of an excitement, not necessarily a joy. Maybe well, I'll obviously feel joy when I'm doing it. I feel like haven't gone in there just yet this year, at least. I feel like in this economy, joyful might might have a different meaning now because, like, saying joyful, it, yeah. it's rough out here. Like, it, yeah. <laughs> it's rough out here. But I mean, so stuff that makes you happy. We'll try to be happy. We'll try to be happier. We'll try to be happier. Give me the dice. A ver. What color is that? Red? Pink. This one? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm a little colorblind if I'm being honest. Yeah, I was like, these clothes, these colors are really um, close for comfort. Baby, pick one for me. Let's go with this one. Time. Damn. Ooh, a time. Oh, That's I feel gonna like this good. is going to be gonna good. good. Okay, if you could relive any year of your life, which one would it be? <sighs> I am 31 years old. I have 31 years to relive if i could relive another year in my life oh man i you know i always say like you couldn't pay me to go back into my 20s it definitely wouldn't be in my 20s but i think i think i would relive um my 30 my my 30 and my 31 like these last two years i feel like they have been the best years of my life And I am so much more confident in everything that I do and things have just been going really well that I, if I could do this again, I would do it again in a heartbeat and I would be a little more prepared as to like what I'm capable of and, you know, I've unlocked so many new things in my thirties that had I unlocked them sooner, oh, I would have taken this world down. You know what I mean? But things happen for a reason yeah, at a certain time. Reason. Yeah, I know. So that's kind of how I feel about reliving my year. I feel like you didn't answer yours, though. Then do it again, Pepe. You have to do it again. You have to, like, really, you have to dig in. It's the rules. Another yellow one. Damn. Okay, if you really feel like you don't want to answer that one. do it. I mean, might as well, Sin miedo al éxito. It is what it is. Kindness. Kindness. What is the kindest thing someone has done for you? I feel like you've answered that one before. I think I have answered Okay, that. then. Believe in me more than I believe in myself. Let's do a different one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Pick one for me. Pick okay. One for me. okay. I'll okay. let you pick. Uh, I w- want to see you answer this one. Desire. 
What profession did you desire to be when you were younger? Oh, period. A podcaster. (laughs) (laughs) I never saw myself being a podcaster, ever. No, I think uh, growing up, I always wanted to do something in the arts. Yeah? I I was super into painting. Yeah? Super artistic. But I kind of uh, went the traditional route, right? It's like my parents, and more like my dad more than anything, was like, hey, you're not going to amount too much like if you pursue art yeah so i kind of obviously stopped doing my art and switched careers all together i went from wanting to be an artist and a painter to now business management so completely different i feel like you can be creative in a business management aspect but i i feel i feel what you're saying because I didn't come from a very creative family and being like one of the first creative people in your family is a little daunting because they're kind of like, that's not a real job. Exactly. Tu vas a, like, por ejemplo, tu vas a pintar and get money out of it. Like, así no vas a ganar dinero. That's the mentality that like most, si vas a pintar el dinero, see, I feel like they didn't really see it as a real job and now it's proven completely wrong, but like, everybody can be something, do something. Yeah, especially with social media, it's so much easier. There's so many ways that you could be creative and you know have a living and do stuff like that. But I feel like a lot of, especially Latino parents, don't come from a creative background. So for them, it's like, eso no es trabajo. It's easier to go the safe route. Yeah, yeah, a traditional, algo seguro, más you know, nine to five. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Bien triste. Hey, but we're out here. I'm going to start painting again. <laughs> Paint me like your French girls. Hey, it's never too late, right? Never. Never too late. Never, never.